Hello everybody, welcome back to... Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of White Knight Chronicles. In the last part, we started our ascents on the Flandar Trails. We fought some dragons, we fought some lizards. We came across uh, a powerful dragon which pushed our shit in a little bit. Which required me to do some leveling, which is which was needed. And so... I went from those like 13, 14 to 18, 19, so got a good got a, got a good amount of levels going for us. Hopefully it's enough to pass a stupid dragon. And uh Uh I think I supplied everybody else with new with new, uh, with new items and just uh I did not. Alright. I think they used them all. Where are my mana potions? Hold on. Uh, Eldor. Why can't I move my shit over? Items. Item storage. I mean, withdraw. I can't withdraw? What is going on? Oh my god. Oh my god. I had a bunch of mana potions I gave. Well, Elder has some. Um, give some to Leonard, because he used them all. Alright, we gotta take on this dragon. Let's see if we're a better match for it this time. Obviously, skip this next scene, because we've seen it. Alright. We need to think fast. So, what was this thing we do again? Ah. I also got some new weapons and armor that I found along the trail. Eldor, a little help here? I... Reach. Survived a lot better this time around. <laughs> All right, time for the second phase of the fight. Looks like I'm not the only one having trouble. Now you're gonna have to put some work in this time around, guy. So you leave all the work to me. Look at him standing. Now, don't kill it. Mm. <sighs> oh, 
he did it for us. No, this was not the one. It's dead. Yes, and dragons do not tolerate those who kill their kin. More will be coming for certain. We must leave this place now. Oh boy. Who could have done this? Well, friend, there's always your next life to look forward to. Just pray you're not born a human. Huh? Kara, where were you? Unconscious. You could have helped. Sorry. Our friend Ebonwings was looking for something. The dragon who guards the night. That's good. That means the Magi haven't got their hands on the next Ark yet. So it does. Okay, so let's hurry up and get to those ruins. To reach the cavern in question, we must pass through Greed first. We'll make our way along the cliffs here, until we find a gondola that connects to the city. All right, works from some fight. Dragons are strong. Not strong enough. N never again. Dragons rarely attack people. Perhaps it got up on the wrong side of the bed. Oh, Yuli, what the hell are you doing in here? here you're not fit to be in my party be gone with you all right let's go back to Eldor all right back to business we fared, we fared much better that time This gondola will take us down to greed. Oh, look who it is in the background. Look like fun, Leonard. What? No. All aboard the gondola. And away we go. Looks too weird living in a moving city.
So this is greed. To think this whole place actually moves. The entire city is born on the back of a giant monster they call the Demi-Thor. It's like... out of a fantasy. Well, should we start exploring? We can take a locomotive into the merchant's quarter. The station is nearby. Question is, how the hell did they build a city on top of a giant monster? Let's get used to it. Uh, where do I gotta go? I guess I'm going to go to the green, right? That's the only way to go. There's a chest. Treasure. He'll draw. That's great. It's not the treasure I was looking for. If you'd like to go aboard a train, please take the elevator to the second floor and visit, exit via the central station turnstile. Alright, I will. I'm out. Special passes is a green city transit. Those hoping to ride the locomotive must apply for a train pass at the reception counter. For details, proceed to the central area. God damn it, seriously? Why couldn't they just tell me this before? Go. Where do I go to get a train pass? One of you, maybe? Welcome to the free city of Greed. If you wish to board a train, please visit the ticket counter on the right to obtain a train pass. If you proceed, alright. Welcome to Greed Central Station. Are you here to register for a train pass? Oh, how wonderful. You're just gonna love our trains. Okay, one second. Let me print this out. And here you are, your very own train pass. Oh, the fun you're going to have with this. Gonna get it. Alright. Now we can board our train. Let's get used to it. Destination, Merchant Quarter. Look at this place. So now what? How do we get to the bunker load caverns from the city? Any ideas? Now that's the hard part. There is only one way. Which is? Allow me to explain. Greed works because the mines generate enough revenue for the city to maintain its independence. Unfortunately for us, the mining season is over, so the Demithor has moved into down position with the city resting at the base of the caldera. When they want to begin mining again, the Demithor lifts them up so the city connects directly to the caverns on the mountainsides. 
That way, they can extract large masses of ore too heavy to carry by gondola. Meaning, to get to the mines, the entire city has to be moved. That's right. And that's why we have to go and see the man who runs Greed. Only Count Tristel can authorize such a thing. Okay, let's go. <laughs> it's not that easy. Count Tristel is like an emperor here. You don't just drop by his house and say, Hi, Count, could you move the city for us? First, we need to ask around town. Find out how he might get an audience with the Count. <sighs> no love letters. Please. <laughs> Greed ever get to be so exaggerated? Alright, let's take a little stop by the weapon shop first. The frame rate is not. Alright, what do you got to sell? You've got a mace, which I don't want. You've got a longsword, which I don't want. Cause I got a, cause I got a katana. I don't want that. This is good to use for Cecila though. So here you go, Cecila. Magic of 22 though. So good for Cecila. We uh, got leather jacket. We got fencer armor. We got spiked armor. Everybody can wear spiked armor. We get a new shield for Leonard. Before I go crazy with spiked armor. I don't know if it's good to, to have resistance uh, on Cecila. I'll just give her the best defense possible. When it comes to mages, I'm not quite sure. Or. I'll just, keep, I'll just give her spiked armor for the time being. Alright, so they're geared out. Should I just gear out Yuli and Kara in case I ever have to use them for whatever reason? Because their defense is pretty lacking. Ah, uh, you know what? Why not? I got plenty of money. She get Kara a mace because she's using a staff. All right, Yuli. I I I I noticed I almost, uh, that I was also messing with the wrong. Um, the wrong skill set for her. I meant to do bow for her, not sword. That was my mistake. But I'm already kind of invested into it now, so or I can just or I can just go back and do bow. So I'm not gonna use Yulia anytime soon anyway. Um... 
Alright, now I can give her a bow. down somewhere. I'm sure it's a comfortable life, but I could never adjust. Really? I think I kind of like it. Good thing we're not moving here. Why? Is not up to your standards? Oh, let's check out the first floor, see what they've got for us. Quests. Well, if you want information, go to the pub, right? Ah, uh, take a seat. I realize I ain't. Great, I got some honey. Okay. I didn't want. I, oh wait. We are here. There's someone. There's a guy who's yellow. Oh, that must be the. Uh, yeah, that's, that's him. Okay, never mind. Just about dried up this dried up dried in this city. Well, yeah, you're living in a steel city on top of a monster. Oh, sneaky little chest. Why not try the busiest districts first? Assuming the bottom floor is the busiest district, right? Uh, it's gotta be the bottom floor. place. I don't think I'm supposed to be here. Sir! There's much I have here from the park. I don't think it's a sort of tour place tourist visit. Yeah. I'm Floor. Away we go. Built all this? One man 
Don't be ridiculous. The first Drizdar, if I recall correctly. Let's just see if Dwee still lives up to his legacy. You need something? You're looking for the station. To, uh, not looking for the station at all. Most of the world's high quality art makes its way here, so I come here hoping to set a craft of exceptional armor. What's the point? There aren't any blacksmiths to support. Alright. You pure work of Apaches? I don't care about you at all. That's a side quest. I didn't even know what I accepted. Five crystals? I'm not good. No, I'm good. I was wondering if uh, uh, Alright, the bar didn't tell me anything. Um, haven't you been this way already? You know what? I'm trying to find people to talk to, okay? It's a big city. Answers, so answers to my questions. All right, what am I doing? Who am I going to talk to? Each day brings something new. the city I can go to is just this. Town. Let's see what's down there. Let's see. Yep, I'm not interested. Yep. What do we got here? There's a star over there. Looks like that's where I gotta go. Only the resilient. Don't I have enough deal to, to upgrade his Incorruptus? Hello, guy, lady, whoever you are. I do. Nice. Relic arts. I don't have enough for any of this. Gym. I knew we'd have luck here. Where's 
What is this luck you're talking about? Because I'm not seeing any luck. Alright, another, another weapon shop? It's different about this place. That's a fancy little thing they have. What do you have different? Oh, no, you don't. They have the same shit. No, I'm out of here. Huh? Is that the pub? Maybe we can learn something inside. But, but the star. Fine. What's your new guy? Oh my gosh! That's Bacino honey. That's the most delicious honey in the world. They say it's made from the, from bees that drink only the finest beer and get massages every day. When you say it out loud, all that, that that all seems really unlikely. But I don't care. I gotta have it. Yeah, I'll trade you with my black market pass for it. Come on, I'm begging you, sir. That sounds like a good thing to have. Oh wow, thanks. I bet Zoe will talk to want to talk to me now. Say, you guys heading to Count Dresdel too? Everyone's talking about how he wants some statue called the Goddess of Lepane. Of Lepane. The auction will be crammed with rich suck-ups trying to curry his favor. Bunch of brown-nosing whiners, if you ask me. Anyway, good luck with whatever you're doing. Thanks for your black Leave market pass. Over some Go check out this black market. Seems like a good place to get information from. Well, look who we got. Who went and found a black market pass? Did he just take it off the dead guy? Excuse me, I never talked to you. Nah, I'm just kidding. I don't care how you got it. That's your business. Let me just open the door for you here. Stupid no good door. Come on. Okay, there. There. Oh yeah. Okay, there we go. Head on in. You're good. Look at this place. Fancy. This must be it. They better be selling that statue here. That's all I can say. A treasure unlike any other. Many have coveted this beauty. And now you have the chance to possess her. I give you the goddess of Le Pan. She's missing an eye. That's the one we're after. Now, please be aware. We will only sell the goddess if she is made whole again. That's right. Unfortunately, this particular item is not quite complete. The eyes. As you can see, she is missing one of the precious firestorms, which give her eyes their fierce and passionate glow. Now, as you all know, the Firestones are rare gems that can only be found in the talents of the vicious Flander Fire Lizard. However, if some brave man or woman were to confront the beast and bring back the gem, I might <laughs> part with the goddess for less than her full value. After all, I only wish to sell her to someone who will truly appreciate her. Don't all approach at once. Raise your hands and... Huh? They're all gone. Oh. Huh. As I feared. Why bother? No one wants to go on such a dangerous adventure. Of course not. Wait. We'll do it. What? You will? Really? Really? 
Thank you, brave sir. Truly, I must confess, after the statue got damaged, I felt simply terrible. Surely an art lover like yourself must understand. Try. Right. Sure, let's go My with that. Boy. I only want to see the goddess restored to her former glory. If you do that for me, then I will give the goddess to you for free. Yeah? Whoa, really? You will? Of course. But the fire lizard is a truly fearsome monster, yes? Just so we're clear on that point. You must be careful. Hey, no problem. <sighs> That's what you think, brave sir. All right, I've seen trouble ahead. We didn't see any violences in those mountains earlier. There's a lot of people in the merchant quarter. Maybe we should ask and ask some of them. I hope we live through this. We'll be fine. It's not the exit? It's not the exit. Bamboozled! Alright, so let's see what we can dig out from the uh, people at the merchant's quarters. Let's find that lizard. Well, we gotta go get information about where the lizard is first before we do anything. Skip. Skip. Where are we gonna go? Wait. Alright. So, we gotta go. We need to track down a fire lizard. Maybe we should look around for someone who knows something who's found a firestone before. I know where to look. I know where to look. We gotta go to the third floor. I'm sure it's a comfortable life, but I could never adjust. Really? I think I kind of like it. Good thing we're not moving now. Why? It's not up to your standards. There it is. That's where we gotta go. My me just barging in. Hey, you're looking for a fire lizards? Oh, that's a wily critter by far. Wily and angry. They make their home in the Flander Mountains, but it's not often that people catch sight of them. Back when I was young, me and some friends thought that we'd steal a fire st firestone and get filthy rich. Rich, I tells ya. Filthy stinking rich. <clears throat> well, yeah, here's some lizard bait. Put it next to that, that fuck red crystal that's bigger than all the other ones. If you're lucky, the bay will lure a lizard into the open, and then you'll be rich. Rich! If we don't get maimed. Alright, we gotta go back to the Flandar Mountain Trail. Oh. Alright, so uh, I will see you back on the trail. I believe we just dropped down.
part of cheese. Let's see, what is this? It's a weapon of some sort. I think it's an ah, it's an axe. Alright. Few reptiles are more formidable. That's where we gotta go. Stick the bait next to that thing. So far, let's put together. Use the bait. Oh, there it is. Third time he's missed. Up a firestone, nice and easy. Yeah, everyone was worried for nothing. Well, that takes care of that. All right, I will be back in the pub. Guy, I got your firestone. Oh, my goodness, you have found the firestone at long last. So, you'll give us the goddess of Lepan now, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. You didn't really think it would be that easy. You must be stupider than you look. Now, fools, watch as I reveal my true identity. Drop kicked. Oh, my gut. <coughs> M mercy, please. I, it was a joke, a jape, a jest. That's all. I just wanted to see your faces when I said that. <laughs> it's been a long day. We're not in a mood for jokes. <sighs> no, of course you wouldn't be. Fine. The goddess of Lepan. She is yours as promised. Please, take good care of her. That way I can return to my business with a clear conscience to go with my broken ribs. Oh, now if we are done, take care. Don't forget to visit the Black Cherry again. You never know. We are always selling the unusual. Alright. That makes a terrible fake villain. So you think this will get us a meeting with the Count? Let's go and find out. Count Dristol lives in that large mansion we saw directly across from the gondola station where we arrived. 
Easy enough to find. Huh. Now we just need to meet with Count Dristol. Seems almost too easy. There was a sprint option. Central Station. Skip. Skip. These two. Yes, what is your business? We have something the Count might be interested in. A statue he's been looking for, the goddess of Lepan. Really now? Do you think we're gonna fall for that? The Count has that piece. In fact, he just recently acquired it. No, wait! He couldn't have! It's a fake! It must be! Move along, please. Come on, just tell him, please. Why would we lie? Trouble? Ah, Lord Caesar. There'll be folks here. They're trying to claim they have the goddess of Lepan. Really? They found the goddess? Psst. Hey, Caesar? As in, Drizdal's only son and heir? I don't know what the townsfolk are talking about. He looks pretty intelligent to me, don't you think? Yeah. So, hey. Oh, yes? Just in case, I want to look at this goddess of Lepan you say you've got. Please, step inside. Just in case? All right. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but whatever you say, guy. Mm hmm. This is the goddess of Lepan, huh? Yep. Real as real can be. Okay. But why'd you bring it here? It's for Count Drizdal. We want to ask him a favor in return. A favor? I don't know. Isn't bribing public officials against the law? What? No! We would never! <laughs> Down, girl. Just joking. And I know your statue's real. You do? Then what about the Counts? <laughs> Oh, that one's a fake I threw together. Yeah, if you saw him slobber over it. They'll kill me when they see the real one. Oh, well. Huh? Huh. <laughs> All right, let's go see my old man. Time to fess up. The townsfolk were right about him. Hmm. Huh. 
He's bedridden. Oh, there's, the, there's his fake statue. Convincing fake, but obviously you can tell it's fake in the eyes. What is it, Caesar? Who are these people? Hey, Dad, I got some good news and a little bad news. Sadly, your statue's a fake. But the good news is these folks brought the real one. What? And you knew about it? You lied to me again? How many times must I warn you? <coughs> yeah, yeah, I know, Dad. I blew it. But come on. You gotta learn to relax. Really. I made the one that I gave you. Boy, did I have you fooled. I thought I did a pretty good job. Oh, my boy. Well, that's my cue to go. Hey, be sure to thank these folks. If it wasn't for them, where would you be? Later. Yeah. This is the last straw. I'm disowning you this time, you useless idiot. <laughs> Excuse me. That couldn't have been pleasant to watch. I've just about given up on that feckless son of mine. Doesn't he see how little time I have left? In any case, you have indeed brought me the real goddess of Lepan. Oh, if you knew how long I have searched for this treasure. You see, my wife and I saw it when we first went to an art museum years ago. She is gone now, but when I look upon this, it's as if it all took place just yesterday. And yet my son makes light of it. Well, regardless, I am very much in your debt. Tell me how I might repay you. If it is within my power, I shall. So, uh, here's the deal. I see. You want greed to be placed so that you can enter the caverns? Well, I'd be more than happy to do that for you, except... What? As you know, the mining season has ended, so I decided to give Amir some vacation time. He's the Demethor's handler, you see. I suspect he's spending his holiday somewhere in the city, but I have no idea where, I'm afraid. You'll have to find Amir yourselves, if that's all right, and give him this message from me. But he's very committed, so once he reads it, I'm sure he will lend you a hand. All right, well, that was easy. That was a lot easier than I thought it was. Oh. Huh? <laughs> uh-huh. Have to find a mirror, huh? Well, your best bet would be to check downtown at the bar. Or under it, knowing a mirror. Got it. Thanks. Actually, I have a little favor to ask. I was, um, hoping to tag along. With us? Dad kind of kicked me out of the house. Come on. I could really use the company. Hmm. That makes one of us, then. Why not? Come with us, if you like. <laughs> huh? Wow! Seriously? Thanks, friendly old guy whose name I don't know. All of you. I owe you big time. Hey, what are you doing? The Caesar. He doesn't strike you as a curious fellow. Why? Didn't you see? The gems in that fake goddess were real firestones. Not just one, but two of them, mind you. He's no ordinary fool. Otherwise, how would he have gotten those stones? He put far more effort into crafting that fake than we put into finding the real one. It's true. Not to mention, he did it for his father's sake. I don't know if he'll be any good in a fight. But hey, he's got a big heart. That has to count for something, right? 
What he has is a big mouth. Hey, man. I like your threads. Where'd you get them? You wouldn't want to trade, would you? Huh? I'm just saying. My threads. You can buy them at the weapon store. I can buy you some if you like. Caesar's joined the party. All right, for all intents and purposes, I'm going to be kicking somebody out of the party for the time being. Uh, can I even do that though? I can. Change combatants. I'm going to be kicking out. Um, I'm gonna kick out Elder for the time being. You'll see why later on. He's gonna be using the boss fight. Amir, I'm not sure who you are, but can I, what, can I help you with something? You don't know who Caesar is? Ooh, this could only be one man's handwriting. The Countess sent you. Gentlemen, I am at your service. I would be happy to move the Demothor. Great, thanks. One eensy problem. I cannot do it on my own. Uh, we need to pass through the corridors of Greed's underbelly to reach the Demithor's head. Uh, but no one clears out the monsters this time of year. Big, deadly monsters. Hey, no worries. Like I'd let my pal Amir get hurt. I'll be right there to watch your back. They pick on you at their own risk. <laughs> Young master, you just called me your pal. Oh, this is the happiest day of my life. <laughs> this will be a long day. <laughs> to get to the underbelly, we need to use the downtown entrance not far from here. Once we're there, gentlemen, I'll show you the way. You heard him. Amir's in charge now. Move out. Great. Let me guess. I gotta protect him along the way. Oh. What's going on here? Oh, it's these guys. They're a little behind, guys. Have this heat. Yeah, you're in full armor. What'd you expect? You're lagging a little, they're lagging a little behind. <laughs> we'll rescue the princess by the time, by the time, uh, they cut, they catch up. Hey, Amir, race ya. Oh, you're on, young master. I guess the two of them go way back. Caesar and Amir seem close. Don't forget about us, Caesar. Oh, All right. Into the underbelly we go. These halls will take us right out, next to the Demothor's head. You know, I hear the monsters are extra nasty this time of the year. Should make for a fun trip. What's fun about it? Well, we won't get bored, will we? Young Masters, I should mention one teeny -teen problem when some gates the underbelly are locked with various devices. They're a pain to deal with, but they, they defend against intruders and other nasties. We need to use these devices to open the gates and to proceed to the Demothor. However, be warned, many dangerous creatures lurk down here as well. Great. Wonderful. Amazing. It's nothing like the city above. Alright, I am going to save it here. Uh, when we come back, we will head off into the underbelly find our make our way to the Demothor and raise it so we can get into the caverns so I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next part later